Morning guys, thought we'd continue my weekend ritual of playing a, a tournament. I've, they've got a 10-0 a rapid tournament going on here. Um, so I'm going to set my, my timer for an hour and we're just going to see what we can do. Right? The, the, the alternative was a 3-0 blitz and I've just woken up, I'm not going to do that. Okay, so this is the King's Gambit, I'm playing this C6 line which is very unusual. And by the way, I've got one big fat ass fly that is uh, buzzing me right now. So now they don't normally take here. This is very unusual. Okay, I'm gonna offer a second pawn. Opponents rated 1716 here. Okay, so they don't wanna take because it allows me to develop. Also, I don't wanna take because it brings their knight into my face. But um, I mean, I've got queen here. I could develop my bishop first, maybe. That might be an idea. Now, I don't know if you can hear this fly. It's, it's really quick, though. So, uh, it's not going to be helping my concentration very much. Hmm. So, this is definitely one to look into. If I go there, it just invites c3 with, with another tempo, so... This is, this is kind of all right. I mean, that's where the king wants to castle. If he's going to castle short, if he goes long, he's going that way. The white now has a very nice center, so I need to look into this, uh, how to respond to, to this accepted line in the c6 king's gambit. First sip of coffee of the day. So it's Handoko 75, that's Indonesia, right? So, uh, almost a youngster, not quite. Okay, two defenders on here. Well, so I mean, I've got this, which is two attackers. If that... If I do that and he takes on Passant, I recapture with a queen. If he takes with, yeah, if he takes with e4, he can, he can capture two ways, actually. Interesting. He can capture on Passant with e5, in which case queen retakes. Or he can take with this pawn, in which case I could take back with the pawn and hit the bishop. I am a pawn down here. And do you know what, 17, 1700 in rapid? So what's Indonesia? Indonesia is going to be about... Maybe eight hours in front of me. So he's playing in his afternoon. Now I have two attackers on this pawn, two defenders. He gets the castle. I'm inclined to bring out my knight, but let, let's first let's pin this guy. That means, so does that mean I can take here? No, because if queen takes, queen takes, the knight then can take, because it's no longer pinned, right? So let's develop this guy. Now I can't castle to there. But I might just centralise both knights and castle that way. Hopefully you can't hear this effing fly on the uh, on the microphone. So he's just annoying me, he's not annoying you. Takes. Hang on. I can take with the bishop, right? No, no, like we said, queen takes is the problem. Okay, let's bring the knight out. He can't go here, he can't go here, he can't go here right now. Am I concerned about e5? I don't know. No increment on these games. Okay, there goes the extra defender. Bishop c7, take out the knight, threaten mate with the queen, yeah? It was also just kind of solidify somehow. And also castles is, is an idea there. If push, take. Okay, he's defending. Let's castle then. Undefended, undefended. Lots of okay, but that is 
Hmm. Is that a mistake? The bishop and knight are both undefended. What happened there? Did he screw up somehow? Bishop can come in here, pin the knight, but he's, how's he not going to lose material? We take out this knight. It's the only defender now of that pawn. My bishop can come in here and just block that rook a bit. That was odd. Knight b6 is also a, an idea. Defense against these advancing pawns as well. Takes, takes, take the pawn. But I mean, in a sense, actually keeping this knight pinned down is, is more valuable than maybe the pawn, but and that's a central pawn. Rook h e8 is logical. I kind of like this move. Also unleashes the rook on this pawn on d4 as well. Okay. If I take, knight takes, I take, he takes, I take. Queen can take the pawn. Um... Take knight takes queen, I take queen, you take sod it, let's do it. Let's simplify. Are you going to Alright, so now I take the knight, yeah? Uh can drop the queen back because uh, it's not a checkmate threat, right? he's got that bishop. Hey, hey, hey. Right. Um That's undefended. A feeling like that this knight needs to come back here. Knight knight onto e5 looks great actually. Ah oh! That's what I meant. The pawn was defended all along. What a muppet. You muppet. That's why I'm not awake. Did he notice that even? Oh man. Okay, anyway, anyway, I've got six minutes left. I'm only slightly behind materially, and I'm going to play this move anyway. Takes, yeah, he's still got two rooks as well. Rook comes in here, I've got bishop takes. So. I think we need to take out that bishop. Remove his long range material, if possible. That's a shame, that, because I, I felt like I got an edge there and just was too dopey to make any use of it. Okay, he hasn't got that. But it does show you that um, players at every level make mistakes. And that should give you confidence. And bring you joy. Now, knight can't take. Bishop can, actually. Bishop can, because it still defends b8. Maybe we want to centralize. Ooh. Oh, man. Okay. Right. We haven't woken up yet. We are just finding our stride. But that wasn't, you know. Okay, we got 16. Thank you. Thank you, chess.com. Now I've got 1689, okay. Let's see what we can do with the standard repertoire. We have a Spanish. You get more Spanish above 1500. You get a lot more Italian below. A Janish with D3. Is it knight F6 or is it takes? Takes, if the knight takes straight away, I think I'm going to take. Okay. Could have blocked with the knight as well. Okay, explain to me how that doesn't lose a piece.
1689. This flag, I believe, is Kazakhstan. Yes. Kazakhstan. By the way, if you haven't... Kazakhstan has produced possibly the, the best singer the world has ever seen. Possibly. In the name of Dimash Kudai Bergen. Um, if you haven't seen Dimash, then just type in Dimash SOS into YouTube. You will not regret it. The guy is amazing. Um, now, D6, very natural looking move, isn't it? I don't think he's going to want to trade his only remaining bishop off for that, for that lonesome knight. It also allows my bishop to come out into the board. Pin Yon. Okay, this knight could come into this hole here. So I could kind of preempt that with this. He's, he's defending this pawn as well. Okay. Uh, all right. Yeah, I can't take because then pawn takes and the pawn attacks the pinned knight. So I'm going to... I could block. I could block with the bishop. I could kick this bishop. But then if he goes back there, do I want to double kick? Because I might want to castle that side. But then I can still castle short, actually, get my rook on f8. Um... I'm not worried about that takes that. I've got, I can recapture with pawn or, or bishop or queen. Go on, let's harass the bishop. If bishop takes, I have pawn takes. Cool. I have the bishop pair. White has no bishops at all. So what did I lose? I lost five ratings on that last one. My hunch is queen takes. Um, bishop takes gets the bishop out of harm's way though. Which I kind of like. It's not my best bishop because of the central dark squared pawns but having said that if he wants to go on trading material let him go on trading material. He's down three points. Down a whole minor piece. I think he'd be a fool. And if you don't capture immediately, you're going to get a bishop pinning your ass. Somebody left a comment on one of my videos saying, I like your calm style. You come across as like a professor, which is showing that I'm getting old and I'm getting long in the tooth. Professor. Right, now castles are very obvious. I'm the only one with a minor piece left. We have a few targets here. That's a, a couple of undefended pawns. This this stuff is all defended. There we go. He's covered one of those. I think this is castle the king. Right, so the objective now is not to try and smash our opponent immediately. Our objective is to win. We've got 7 minutes 45 seconds. Want to win a nice end game. So, the question is, how is this done? Well, bishop b7, push, puts pressure on this pawn. Kind of like that. Then we've got pawns on dark squares here, and our bishop is able to move all, all around and through the honeycomb. How does he defend? Well, he's got f3. Neither rook can defend this pawn. So if he has to push f3, or the pawn just... Having said that, I've only attacked it once. I haven't bothered to attack it with my queen yet. But I've got queen and rook. <coughs> um, now he has to push f3, I think. Huh? And I'm threatening mate, so I think he has to trade queens now. This is a 1689, guys, with seven minutes on his clock. Uh, Checkmated the bastard. How's about that? I like that. <laughs> Jamie Jamie put hallelujah in the chat. 
Yeah, thanks for watching, buddy. Um, yeah, I mean, he was a good sport. He just... So I got 10 points for that. 1583, how about that, man? Check it. Should we do another one? Oh, and a 1660. Oh, thank you for this. Thank you very much indeed. Right, Alakine's defence. So, we treat this. So what do I know? I know the Vienna. So now if he plays, okay. Scandinavian variation of Alakine's defence. If I take, I'd imagine knight will take. The whole point of Alakine's defence is that he kind of wants to tempt you into advancing your stuff. If I take the, the uh, kind of forces in a way. And now d4, d4 makes a heap of sense, right? And now suddenly, Blank, black is looking kind of cramped there, right? But we have a, a sort of a caro set up here, where I'm imagine c5 is gonna is gonna follow soon. Um, it's kind of pushing you to play your moves a bit quick and saying, "Hey, going to resign in a minute. Stop it." Where's this like Ghana or something? Ethiopia. Uh huh. There we go. Here comes the c5 move. Um, could do this and kind of tempt him into pushing that. He's not. He's not interested. He's got two defenders on this pawn. So if I take probably bishop, we'll recapture. I imagine my opponent knows this position quite well. Okay, I'm going to take with a knight for the reason that it just opens up queenie. And look, we lose a pawn. There we go. But in return for that pawn, so we treat this like a gambit. Or by gambit style. I can move the bishop and pin this knight. I don't really want to be trading bishops off now. He could kick me around, in which case I end up in a kind of tricky position, biting on granite there. So, yeah, if he does that, I think I think the sensible option is to retreat, come back the right way. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, I'm not interested in trading now. Uh, okay, I think it's time to lift the queen. I have a few options of which that is not one. If I do this and trade knights... Hmm... Okay, let's come here. If he castles now, there's the option of a bishop sack on the hook pawn. Takes, queen takes. But you need a knight in there to try and checkmate, and that isn't very feasible right now because the queen and bishop are covering this very well. So the other option is to try and go in on the light squares, um, which again is not not really you know hanging out there. There, there, queen takes. I have a queen on here. I can't go to this square or this square. My that that's the end of my attack. So we're not going to. I'm thinking maybe bishop here. But again, I can't really get my queen onto any of these squares because they're all controlled by this light squared setup. Um, right, he doesn't want to trade off there, I don't think. Let's centralize the rooks. I have no pawns on E or D, so. Okay. I don't, I don't want to lose my light square bishop. <sighs> Do I have a choice? Not really. Come only a pawn down. Yeah, I don't want to isolate my pawn by capturing the pawn. Still, we have ideas now. Mm. B 
Bishop takes pawn takes, that drops that pawn. <sighs> Still, I don't see what... I, I can't trade the queens off, I don't think, now. He's, he's ended up with one poor bishop, though. So I think my job now is to lift the rook. So I'm still toying with this idea. If I can get a rook onto there, but... Or is it bishop here actually defends this pawn? Kind of like that. I could get queen here. Um, queen here or here. <laughs> okay, we're well, threatened mate at least for now. Think about lifting a rookie rook. Rook could come here. Rook could come here or here, something like that. Generally, we have got opposite colored bishops as well, and I'm down two pawns. My, my, my queen side is bad. Okay. It's defended only once, because this guy's actually pinned. So... I think it's time to lift a rook, whatever happens. Maybe lift both rooks. Ugh. Now you see he's shifting. He's shifting his pawns onto dark squares, which makes his bishop improved and my bishop worse. Something like this. Remember, this pawn is in an absolute pin and cannot recapture. This pawn is not defending either of those, which means this guy is effectively undefended. This guy is defended twice. Okay, he wants to push there and force the queens off the board, yeah? Uh... We do not... Oh, and he's attacking my bishop. Curses. Not a lot I can do there. He pushes... Oh, no, 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 no. His queen's undefended, so he's not going to do that. That is not the idea. This is still on. Now it's not. Hmm. No, there is that. I can push here, actually, and just, just pressure this pawn. He takes, I just drop back, all the way back. It's a nice thing about bishops, you can just hide them away and they can still have an effect. Okay. Dropping pawns left, right and centre. Uy. Let's do it again. No. No good. No good. No good, no good. So, what did we start at, by the way? Started about 1580, something like that. Oh, 1873 with black against d4, okay. We're going to play a King's Indian. Come on, guys. I think... I've played a, a stronger player on every round so far. Okay, a th feeling like a fianchetto. We both fianchetto. I know that in the Dutch, it's it's generally good if your opponent allows you to get your bishop to uh, b7. Then it's not a bad thing. Okay, Queen's Indian formation. This is a double fianchetto. This is not really my style, but. If I push now, it pins the knight on the queen. Knight bd7. All logical. Uh, there, just drops the pawn. Now, because he's now lined up his... B he might want to drop his bishop into this square. Can I play five now? Takey, 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 takey. Yes, I can. Also, might open that up. Let's play let's play rookie eight first. Uh, 
this never ending um oops if knight takes here I might even trade off the bishops first I don't know I could even take with a rook maybe double up rooks what do we think taking with a pawn opens up a potential queen trade Take it with a rook, put some pressure on that bishop. Do I want a rook in the middle of the board? I don't know. Do I? No, let's take with the pawn. Pre move that, but there we go. Okay, we're kind of we're in the middle game. We both have the bishop pair, we've got an equal position. And we've blundered a bishop. Me a long game. Yeah, so base. We said this. I said this. If that moved, I had to take the bishop first, and then I just forgot. When these Fianchetto standoffs, you just have to. You gotta just watch your back. It's not. It's not difficult. Let's suck it off. Let's suck it off. I can't be asked. You know, playing in 1875, for goodness sake. He's 300 points higher rated than me. This, I haven't got a hope. Okay, now we have... All right, 1460. Right, game on. Game on. Where are we at? I'm 1575. It's kind of similar to where we started. I, th I think I was something like that when we started. So, Okay, Janish Gambit accepted. They try and pin the pawn, you unpin it with this. If they take... Now what you don't do here is you don't take that because then the bishop can come back and, and capture. I'm going to capture with the B pawn, I don't know if that's right. Very often the D pawn is the correct one to take with, but... Okay, now you've got to watch, watch out for this pawn because you really want to play D5. And you can't. Queen here um, attacks this pawn, defends this pawn, and attacks the knight. Sorry, attacks the knight and... Uh... But again, we've got... We've always got to watch out for this. So let's, let's play knight f6 first. Now we attack the knight. Knight defends this. D5, recapture the pawn. General idea. Okay, he defends the knight, but that's kind of clumsy, because now, where's this knight going to... How's this going to find his way into the board, okay? So we've got bishop here, we've got bishop here. That bishop can come to a couple of squares. Uh, queen can drop back round, that's fine. Any point in coming here? Nah. Now the knight does defend this pawn. Hmm. If he takes, I've got knight takes. I'm I'm not not bothered about that. Okay, let's let's develop and castle. Knight takes. The knight's not pinned because the bishop's in front of the king, so that hangs a pawn. Okay, do I have to move the king there? Pawn takes. <laughs> My rook's not defended. Therefore, and I don't have a knight to come to here. So my feeling is I need to move the king and I think f8. I've got my pawn back. Got one attacker on there, but two defenders. 
This knight, you never know. I mean, he might have a future. This bishop's now looking a bit uh, evil. Eyeing up this square, but we'll see. Don't know about that either. I, again, I have the bishop pair, but I need to use it to good effect. Don't know about that. It's all a bit, it's a bit mayhem here, isn't it? <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Right. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, that drops the bishop. I'm a piece up. I'd love to drop my queen in there. Maybe win this. Okay, same plan. Queen defends. Queen attacks queen, that's just undefended. What you gonna do? Same again? Or bishop? I think bishop. Oh, hang on. Second thoughts. Ah. Having said that, queen was just, yeah, yeah, queen was just this bad. Right. Can I come here? Rook, there, no. I get skewered. Okay, that's unpleasant. Here. There's no good checks, I don't think. No. If I can trade off queens, I'm happy. King to there of four. No, no, no. Oh, hang on. Can I pin the rook now? No, I can't because rook takes, queen can't take because she's pinned. And here he, he hasn't got this the pin. So I think I'm all right. He really ought to bring his other rook into the game. I could hit the queen as well, just to gain time. I'd love to like hide my king over here somewhere like that. Ah! Bugger. Oh, I missed it. <sighs> Material is equal. Four pawns each. This pawn is a vulnerability, but I'm attacking his rook. Let's hit the queen. She can't take there. This is some kind of threat as well. Please rook here, I take, queen takes, it's all right. Oh, you checked me. Right, I can't I can't put the king here or here because of that. Oh, I'm being smashed. I mean absolutely <sighs> now in eighteen twenty five. Okay, and we have a Sicilian. So it's time to roll out the old Smith Morrigambit. Well then to me it's the new Smith Morrigambit. Okay, now, mm-hmm. I'm get. I mean, it, that looks just so obvious, doesn't it? And we've trans transposed into an alapin. Okay. I think something like this, probably. And now it's a Slav. So the Slav, I think, is like the Queen's Gambit declined, and then we take, and they take. Okay. Now, in, in these instances, so it's, it's tempting to push e5. Is e5 the right thing? Because the, the other option is to develop a piece and extra defend this pawn. It takes there, I'm thinking we're going to get knight back there. 
And we might end up in the same situation as we were before. Problem with bishop here is it actually hangs this one. So let's push. Comes in anyway. Whoa. Okay, I'm going to trade off. So now this this pawn is a bit bit awkward. Um, it will come out with a pin. Oh, you. I've always got to watch out for that. Right, I think I need to go and get some breakfast and then come back and play chess. See, it's, you know, it seems so natural, that pin. And that's exactly what we get in the Dima Dum Gambit. When, when Black thinks, oh, I'm going to pin your knight and come out here and the queen goes there. But I just didn't consider it. Still can't resign it. Gonna make a load of random pre moves. So how have we done? I've won one game out of six. Let's do one more. Then I'm gonna to need to get some breakfast and try again. But I have lost rating. And now I'm playing at 2127. Thank you, chess.com. This is great. Yeah, this is quite common. Uh, knight here, I think, is the move. Should I have brought my queen out first? I'm not sure. So, but you know, the important thing is we're learning a lesson. And before you pin a knight on the queen side, Always look for this. It's just patterns. Patterns among patterns. Okay, I'm going to throw my knight in. Bishop trades, I, I repair my pawns. And the knight's still pinned on the queen. This is not an ugly situation. This is a fine situation. Are you going to double kick? You are. Okay, you've proved I have a bad bishop. Oh. Hello. My pawn is pinned there as well. I think I need to re return the favour and kick your bishop out. That traps my bishop actually. So I need to create an escape square for him. Oh, oh no, knight defense, that's okay. I was worried about knight takes and f can't recapture. Uh, let's pile in with the pawns. Still pinned. Hmm. Then knight takes as well. I always have king h1. I, have, I think I have once beaten somebody 2100 rated. At least 2000, I've won one 2000 game in 10 minute rapid.
And I find myself two pawns down at this point as well. Okay, attacks the rook. Attacks this twice again. Okay, I can hit his queen now if I want. No. I'm attacking your queen, remember? And that's mate. Wow. Let's just have a quick look at the... Um, can't I see an analysis on that? No, I can't do a game analysis. Ho ho, so... Um, how are we doing? One from seven. But... Because I was playing all higher rated players, um, I'm still 1560. So, I mean, and the winners, <laughs> the guy in, in first place is rated 632. We've got 634 and a 512 in the top four, and then an 1800. But, uh, I mean, there's loads of players lower rated than me here as well. I just didn't get paired again. I only got paired against one of them. But hey, hey. It's all experience. But more food is needed. You need to fuel this. You may see me later. But uh, right now, I need to put ice on my bottom because it hurts. All right, see you later, guys.